I'd like to welcome you to Wednesday night's Virtual Vespers. I'm going to start off by reading John 1, 1 through 12. The beginning, in the beginning was the Word. The Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through Him all things were made, without Him nothing was made, that has been made. In Him was life and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify concerning that light, so that through him all might believe. He himself was not the light. He came only as a witness to the light. The true light that gives light to every one was coming into the world. He was in the world and through the world was made and, and though the world was made through him, the world did not recognize him. He came to that which was his own, but his own did not receive him. Yet to all who did receive him, to those who believed in his name, he gave the right to become children of God. Now, in this time, right now, I feel like these verses are very important because it talks about light. And right now, December is the month that we have the most darkness. We have the less, less hours of daylight in the whole month, and we have the shortest day of the year. So the darkness is something that is we see more of. So Jesus definitely, we need Jesus as the light right now. And we never know how Jesus is going to use us to provide that light to others and to reach them. So anyway, Jesus was born in Bethlehem and was born as our Savior. And he is the true light who offers everyone light and life. Now, in these times, there's a lot going on during these darkness, long periods of darkness. Lots of anger, yelling, fighting, along with other issues. As humans, we have trouble getting along with each other sometimes. We aren't that different from each other, but we really need to focus more on how we're alike. We need to build on what we have in common so that we can make an effect more on people. Now, since all these issues are going on, as Christians, we need to help others to see the light of Jesus. We see wars, we see fighting in the streets, so we have to work as peacemakers. We have to try to make peace. We have to listen to others who are struggling because they might not be able to see the light of Jesus. And we if we might be able to share this light for him, through him, the life that he provides through us to help others to find their way to him. We can draw people to Christ not by arguing with them about what they believe or even by telling them how wrong they are and how right we are, but by showing them a light that is so lovely that they will want with all of their hearts to be able to know the source of it. And then they'll want to have that light themselves. So during this Christmas season and into the new year, please show the love and kindness and compassion that will help others see the light of Jesus. Now I'm going to read Matthew 5, 14 through 16 now as a closing. And then we'll have our prayer. Okay, you are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on a stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine for, before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Now, um, for our prayer tonight, I'm going to close in prayer. Um, Heavenly Father, we have so much to thank you for. Thank you for loving us. 
Thank you for never giving up on us. Thank you for sending Jesus to us. Thank you for the place that we worship. Thank you for our families and our loved ones. Lord, please be with those who are sick and struggling during this time. There are many in the hospitals and the nurses and doctors are all so tired. Just be with all of them as they try to heal and get well and get people back to their homes. Please use us as you see fit to show others the way to Christ. Let us show the love, kindness, and compassion that you would have us to share with the world. Help us to be the church that you would have us to be and to do the things that you would have us to do. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.